So it's the night before my surgery, the big day for me. I've waited for this day, I've done lots of research. So as you can see, I've got a M shaped hairline. Just wanting to fill these areas in here and here. I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow. Good night. So it's the morning of the surgery. I found myself at the Maitland Clinic. I just had a chat with Jana. She's made me feel really comfortable. I'm just waiting for the surgeon now. We're going to talk through the hairline. It's all very, rela very relaxed and the sun's shining, so all's good. It's going to be a line like that. It's going to have all the irregularities in which I'm going to start to draw out in a second. But um, it's important that this comes back a little bit before it comes around. If this were to round off like that, that would be like that woman we just yeah. saw. And that, so, Although everyone wants that, and they seem to think, well, yes, I want that round. It, it, as we just saw in those pictures, it's completely normal to have that, that's that sort of shape. And then we want it to, we don't want both sides to be exactly the same. And, and actually that's helped by the fact that the, your head shape is slightly different, slightly more rounded here. This is a little bit flatter. This distance naturally between your eyebrow and here is a bit more than it is on this side. So I brought it forward a little bit just to balance it, but equally it, it needs that sort of character to it. Mm -hmm. You've seen the two that you've shown me were actually way more asymmetric than what I'm drawing. So it's the evening of the surgery. We drove home this evening, got back around 9.30, having left there around 7.30 and stopped for something on the way. Had such a lovely day. Dr. Ball and the team were just amazing. Felt so, so at ease and they couldn't do enough for me. I was enjoying being fussed over. But um, as you can see, this is the this is how it looks this evening. I'm not sore at all. Um, uh, so I'm looking forward to a little nap, but I'm I'm aware I've got to wake every two hours to do the spraying. So um, that'll be fine. I did rest my eyes for most of the day, so I'm not feeling too tired. Although I'm probably looking a little tired with no makeup today, but. Yeah, all good. Really excited to see the hair growing. And as I say, I've, I've no discomfort at all. So. so it's the evening of the surgery day. Um, feeling quite sleepy this evening but I feel absolutely fine I don't have any discomfort um, see I'm really thrilled with the hairline that Dr. Paul's produced looking forward to some rest now it's such an easy day I've, it just flew by and I felt like really comfortable all day long and I really enjoyed being fussed over I said I was going to miss all the technicians and Dr. Ball because they were just so lovely to me. Anyway, good night. Just speak tomorrow. Hi. So it's the morning after the surgery. I had a really good night's sleep having had to wake up um, every two hours to spray, but I just set my alarm and went straight back to sleep again. It was, it was fine. Um, I lay sort of quite upright with my neck pillow, but it was, um, yeah, it was comfortable. Um, I didn't have much discomfort at all like you can see this is the um, the area there I'm just feeling really happy at the moment um, I've taken my Coco de Mol um, as I suggested I recommended um, but yeah I feel, feeling good morning so it's day two so we have the surgery day then it's day one then it's day two so um yeah, as you can see, I've got some slight swelling at the sides. I can't actually feel anything. I feel absolutely fine. It wasn't until I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh, wow, I look like some kind of Teletubby or something. But, you know, it's far, absolutely fine. I feel really good. As you can see, I've been spraying in the night. And I, I haven't minded. I've just put my alarm on, as I said yesterday, and just wake up, spray, fall back to sleep, sort of sitting upright. But I'm enjoying being pampered staying at home at my parents and they can't do enough for me which I'm enjoying <laughs> um, so yeah as you can see I've just got a little bit of swelling here so I need to be mo um, massaging this area a little bit and putting on some um, an ice pack or something but yeah I'm excited because I can see how it's going to be looking and just making sure I water it and drinking enough water myself too but I'm eating fine and the only discomfort I'd say is this 
just at the back but I'm just taking my cocodamol and yeah feeling good much easier than I was imagining it's great speak later on hi so it's day two after surgery it's the evening now so I'm just going to sleep I feel fine I just I've got puffing to the eyes and and around you know this area here so I've been massaging and putting a nice pack on but I don't know the most attractive but no I feel fine it's just the look of that is a little bit scary but I'm not going anywhere and it's to be expected so yeah see you in the morning morning it's day three after surgery um feeling good just looking slightly puffy in my eyes but I'm excited about I can see the hair growing and um, yeah still taking my cocodamol um, but yeah obviously the puffiness is slightly scary when you see yourself in the mirror but it's to be expected and I am um, it does say on the timetable that day three was the peak of the swelling so I've been putting the ice back in a tea towel when um, in throughout the you know th throughout the morning so far and um, but yeah just mostly chilling and enjoying being fussed over by my mum <laughs> actually I think I'm due another cup of tea but yeah making sure I'm still drinking my water very frequently and spraying every half an hour yep all good hi so it's day four after surgery um, my face is kind of coming back a bit but it's still a little bit puffy um, you can see the grafts. I've washed them twice now. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about it all. I still feel like a little, a little bit like a tally tubby, but um, all good and I'm feeling quite positive. I'm just taking one codamol four times a day as opposed to two four times a day, which I was doing at the start. Um, I just want to ease off the cocodamol. Um, yeah, all good. So it's day five after surgery. I've had no pain relief today other than two ibuprofen this morning. Just as I woke, I think I must have slept a little bit funny on my scar. Um, but there's no pain at the front. Um, it's looking good. I can really see where the hairline is going to be now and so um, yeah, I'm excited about it all. So I will wash it tomorrow for the first time, which I'm a bit nervous about, but I've been told just to be very gentle. We've bought some um, Johnson's baby um, conditioner, just so it's the, the mildest form of conditioner. I do that before shampoo and then conditioner again, so yeah, all good. Just putting the conditioner on for the first time, just the first time of touching the grafts. It's a bit scary and I'm only allowing my mummy to do it. it. Feels nice and soft though. Yeah. It's really thinking finally being cleaned. Yeah. It must feel rather good to have some moisture. Some moisture on your ass. Yeah, it goes all the way around the front. So then we'll just leave this on for ten minutes. And we're just massaging in the conditioner after the 10 minutes. Just very gently in, hoping it's not coming out. Looks like I'm putting VEET on there. <laughs> I'm not applying too much pressure. No, just gently. And then I'll wash off in a minute. And then shampoo and then conditioner. Day six after surgery, so this time last week I was in Portsmouth staying the night before the big day. Um, I've washed the hair today, I'm feeling clean, I've just, um, you can see the camera's not great but it's all clean and feeling really nice. There's no pain um, or discomfort, 
apart from at the back when I touch the scar, but um, just try and not do that. It's just a little bit tender still, I think. Yeah, all good.